When I was a child riding my bicycle, I never guessed that someday I'd be in such a enviable position with so much mechanical stuff around me to stimulate my brain. Things like this wireless speedometer were just stuff of a Buck Rogers. No such thing existed. And recumbent bicycles were just a gleam in somebody's eye. The funny part about this whole thing was I had all the materials to make a recumbent bike, but I didn't have the insight to imagine it and invent it and then build it. If I had, today I'd be a millionaire. More numbers. <laughs> Not to mention wind resistance and coefficients and gear ratios. All the other numbers that go along with it. It's a numbery little world we live in. And I'm infatuated with numbers. Gear ratios? Product volume per cubic foot? Cubic foot per cord? And BTU per cubic foot? How many revolutions on the pedals? To how many revolutions on the wheels? And how many revolutions on the front pedal to revolutions of the back wheel? And how many different gear ratios in this transmission? And yet, more gear ratios in this transmission. And how do they all translate out to 1.5 to 1, 2.0 to 1, and 2.5 to 1? And if I use the other transmission, it goes down all the way to 3 quarter to 1 which is too low because then you can spin the tire so easy that you have too much power. So you're better off to go back up to 1.5 to 1 where you can't spin the wheel or barely, which gives you a higher gear ratio on the top. It's all about the number. Inside diameters, outside diameters, wall thickness, hole dimensions, spacing, BTUs, threads. It's all numbers. AC volts, DC volts, RPM, Hertz, wild AC, wild DC, rectifiers. It's all about numbers. When I was in high school, I had a math teacher, an algebra teacher, who was a really good man and he really impacted my life. He taught me about math, and he did it in a way that was interesting. Uh, one of his techniques was he'd put a problem on the board, and he'd say, solve it. You don't have to use the technique I taught you. You can use any technique you're comfortable with, but I want the, the answer out uh, two places. And uh, I quite often did it my way, not the way uh, or the, not using the technique that he taught, and uh, I quite often was right. <laughs> so uh, don't be limited by the structure of things if you're trying to figure something out or if you're trying to invent something. I've noticed one of the big things that stops people is they'll go to invent something and they'll come up with an idea. And just for an example, say, it's going to take a certain material to, to do this invention, and that material cost is prohibitive. So they stop right there, and they never pursue it any further. They just write it off, put it in the file 13, and, and that's the end of it. Don't do that. If you have an idea and you run into a snag, the best thing to do, as long as it's just an idea in your head and you're not buying materials yet, is to just write that number off, that price of that material, whatever, just don't even take that into account. Just move beyond it and continue to develop the idea uh, until you have a good, solid uh, idea to start with. You'll find out that if you do that, uh, you may, in the process of doing that, discover that there actually is another way to do it that's better. Uh, things have a way of unfolding just like a sheet of paper that's been folded up. And if you keep working with them, 
and keep a very open mind and don't limit yourself, uh, you can accomplish some pretty amazing things. Just for an example, I took this gear out of a cluster and it goes onto a cluster that has a series of grooves in it and these little bumps right here set in the grooves and that's what holds it on there and keeps it from sliding around. Now I had this one gear that was a perfect gear I wanted but it wouldn't fit on the cluster and I'd taken three or four of them apart so I didn't know which cluster I went with and I wasn't sure if they were all exactly the same so what I could have done was when I put it on the bumps didn't line up I could have just gone well that's not going to work and given up but I didn't I kept messing with it and finally I figured it out by using some other gears that if I turned it over everything lined right up and it worked perfect that's just an example of some of the things that will dog you when you're trying to come up with an invention or an idea. But don't let them bother you. Just keep working on it. Keep doing the math. And yes, Mr. Workman, I am a machinist. And I use that math every day. I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.